Making a custom fitting sports mouth guard is an excellent service that you can provide for your patients. The first thing you must do is to make a good impression and it should include the full depth of the labial sulcus. You can see that the impression on the right was inadequate and it produced a model that did not include the full depth of the sulcus. To get the best vacuum sucked down, you only want to have a thin base on the model. You can either drill holes in it, alternatively you can trim the base so that you open up the pallet. And this is actually what I prefer to do. I find this gives me the best suck down. The mouth guard material comes in different colors and is about four millimeters thick. I find that most people like the clear mouth guard, but please do ask your patients and find out what they would like to have. Before you put the mouth guard material into the vacuum form machine, you must first take off the paper backing on both sides. Put the thermoplastic material into the vacuum form machine, centering it over the plate, and then close down the top half of the device. Lock it in place, raise up the tray, and turn the heater on. Now watch out because this heater gets very hot. Put the clean dry cast onto the base of the vacuum form machine. While you're waiting for the mouth guard material to heat up, get your cellophane sheet and water ready. You'll be using that later on. As the thermoplastic mouth guard material heats up, you'll see it slowly start to sag down and you're looking for about five centimeters of drop. If you look at the top, you can see the heater. It's red hot. When you see that amount of drop, then it's the time to turn on the vacuum and to carefully lower the tray. There's no need to slam it down, just carefully lower it. Beware, the top part of this device is very hot. Do not touch it. Now get your cellophane and rub the mouth guard with a cellophane that's been wetted. This is to improve the adaptation of the mouth guard material. Here we can see we're using the wetted cellophane to really adapt the hot thermoplastic mouth guard material to the stone model. Having done that, we're now ready to open the tray and remove the model from the vacuum form device. Remember it's hot at the moment, so just let it cool down by itself. If you're in a rush, you can put it into cold water. If you want to make a colored mouth guard with a custom logo, you have to carefully position the model in the vacuum form machine so that you get the logo in the right place. Once the mouth guard material has cooled down, you can do a rough trim using a heated scalpel. Note that we're doing this on the model. We have not removed the mouth guard material from the model at this stage. As you can see, we're just doing a rough trim with the heated blade at this stage. If anything, we're cutting it a little bit on the long side because we can always trim it back. If you trim it back too short at this point, you have to make a new mouth guard. Now we're ready to remove the excess material. And here we can see the mouth guard on the model. Take it off, inspect it. The border should be about three millimeters short of the bottom of the sulcus. Please take care when changing the blade. Don't cut yourself. And also don't press the sharp point it into the workbench as you will damage it. Instead, press it down onto a flat metal object. Now we're going to be putting a 45 degree bevel all the way around the edge of the mouth guard. The blade is heated and you can see how it cuts through the material easily. We're now going to finish by carefully flaming the border. Do not attempt to flame too much at a time. Just do a little bit and we're going to carefully adapt it using the cellophane and water to smooth it. The mouth guard should be nice and smooth with no rough edges or sharp regions that might cause the patient some pain. 
pay careful attention to the regions around the freedom. Make sure they're well relieved. In review, you want to remove the mouth guard material from the model when it's cold. You want to trim it back, putting a 45 degree bevel at the margin, and you want to make sure it's all nice and smooth. Gentle flaming will turn a milky mouth guard clear. At this time, I'd like to thank the Dalhousie Production Lab for helping make this educational video for you. Thank you for watching.